Hey, are you checking Zoom? Yes, I, think I am. We are. Yeah, I think we are. All Hi, right. everyone. Our Monday call on Tuesday. Our, yes. <laughs> Our Monday call on Tuesday this week. <laughs> so, Abby, I was speaking to um, my students yesterday. And, you know, there is this horrible killing in the States, right? And by the way, my heart goes out to all of you because it must be, you know, when it's in your back garden, it's uh, even more impactful, right? Mm -hmm. But it just doesn't stop, right? So my students, it's on the membership call, right, on Monday night. And my students were saying, Sophie, I mean, you know, I'm just getting depressed. I just go out. I talk to people. I hear bad news all around, people are getting aggressive, there is, yeah. it's terrible, right? Yeah. And truly, we've talked about it, right? Like we are in a systemic crisis, and we are like the worm in the cocoon, you have to dissolve before you become a butterfly, so the dissolving is not pleasant, right? Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. the worm, I am sure, does not enjoy going into a mush. <laughs> <laughs> becoming goo yeah but you know I, I was just thinking okay I've got to find something else to say because we yeah. need to ongoingly create context right yeah so the only thing I can do for everybody listening and for you Abby and please talk to me and I'm going to remove the ball from my dogs because I don't know if <laughs> And um, uh, I can only share from my own experience, right? So I'm wondering why I keep making a difference, standing where I stand, right? What is it that has yeah. me never stop wanting to make a difference and never, ever stop my intention to create a new culture for humankind in the face of anything. I've been at it more than 30 years, right? So what is it that keeps me going? Because I have known, you know, my office was in the World Trade Center, the people, I had people spit in my face, I had people mm -hmm. insult me, I, you know, failed sometimes, often, <laughs> I succeeded, right? <laughs> so what is it that keeps me going? And I think it's very simple. Mm -hmm. It's choice about the game I'm playing in life. Mm. You see, if I don't play the game that everything is possible, Right? Like the possibility of possibility, meaning it's not here now. Yeah. Right? But this certainty I experience that everything is possible. Yes, it is possible for everybody to disentangle their ego. Yes, it is possible for everybody to learn what the ego is. Yes, it is possible for everybody to shift from surviving to being alive. Yes, it is possible for everybody to remember who they really are. Yes, it is possible for everybody to be kind, generous, tender. It, it right? I, 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 yes. It's not here. I know it's not here, but it's possible. Mm. There is the possibility of possibilities, meaning everything is possible oh. that's one game the wow. alternative is get depressed and suffer right the alternative is go and find a place where you can feel protected away from everybody and hope but then you you it's not a game I want to play because the separatedness, the disconnection, this. No, I, I want to be in life. Otherwise, I will be a nun, frankly. I mean, I'm quite pulled to be a nun. I, I would quite like to be in a beautiful convent somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> ashram, you know, and just like, oh, Himalaya will do just fine for me. Yes. <laughs> wow. So... 
I think that's it. It's just, well, what else is there to do? Mm. And it doesn't mean that I don't get impacted, that I don't get depressed, that I don't get discouraged. But I don't want to play that game. So it really comes mm. down to the simple, simple, simple choice. Do you want to play this game or this game? You know, do you want to play bridge or monopoly? You know what I mean? It's it's like yeah, that. Yeah, right. So Sophie, do you use that? Like, is that an... Um... I've heard you talk about courage as something that you generate, right? Like you have to generate courage to step Mm. forward into something. Mm. Is this similar? Do you have to generate the space of possibility or is it something that, that you like step into? Does that make sense? The question? Yes. It's brilliant. You see, it's so natural now for me that I need to think about your question. Do I generate it? So let's say, yeah, like yesterday evening, right? I went to have dinner and it there was a no possibility people there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like really destructive mechanism, full blast. Oh wow. Yeah. So what did I do? Well, definitely I saw it, right? So you need to bring awareness. I definitely brought awareness. I didn't make them wrong. I didn't judge them, but I was not in denial. You need awareness to know what's happening. So there were three people in destructive mechanism. Okay. So that's the first thing. You get profoundly related to what so. Okay. Then I I know that it's not who they really are. Hmm. I actually know that with the hundred thousand of people I worked with, you are not your destructive mechanism. You have them. And maybe they hijack you, right? but definitely human beings are not them. Mm-hmm. Okay? So I don't relate to them as that's who they are. I relate to them as ignorant. Like in uh. Buddhism, right? The source of suffering is ignorance. They don't know and they do not know. They do not know. Wow. So... Do Mm. I like it? No. Do I engage in it? No. Mm. Do I bring the space of compassion and love? Yes. Wow. I just don't play in it. Right? Mm -hmm. So they even ask me, are you very silent? Are you tired? So I smiled. I said, no. And then eventually they changed the topic. Wow. Right? So I think awareness getting related to what is, and I I refuse to play that game, Abby. Wow. The thing is that I feel like a murderer if I go to the destructive mechanism. Wow. You know, what Putin is doing with Ukraine is a mega destructive mechanism. But destructive mechanism it is destructive mechanism. Some, if you the president of Russia, have more impact, right? Right, right, yes. I I just don't want to play that game. So it's time to close the door. I I mean, I've closed the door, destructive mechanism. I am not going to be a destroyer. So is that courage? I think it's more Mm -hmm. stand, like it's my word in the matter. You know, it's a question of if ever I go to destructive mechanism, I deal with myself at such a profound level. Wow. Because I don't want to be this kind of human being. I just don't. I care. I care not to be a distractor. Does that make sense? It absolutely makes sense. So it sounds like that the way that you get related to the space of possibility is actually just by A, relating to people as who they really are, yes. not as how they're acting. No. And B, it sounds like there's really a space of letting go. Like you just don't attach to that part of what's happening. And then naturally things move because you're not engaging in it. Okay. So what you're sharing is actually really powerful because it's sort of like a microcosm of the macrocosm of what we're talking about. Like if we can all learn to hold the space of who we truly are and relate to others in that same way without engaging in the mechanisms, life will naturally start to shift away from 
that. I think that's called non-violence. Ah, uh, wow. That's powerful. You see, a destructive mechanism, you always reap what you sow, right? So if you plant toma tomato seed, you'll have tomato. If you give destructive mechanism, you will reactivate the destructive mechanism of others. Hmm. Right? The, the, the reality is a mirror of who you are. Hmm. Right? So if you look at your friends and your communities, if there are a lot of people with destructive mechanism, you need to look at yourself. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. And, and then, for anyone, Sophie, who isn't maybe, is either new here or hasn't done your work, could you just share with everybody what how you define a destructive mechanism so that they can see it in their own? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> a destructive mechanism is anything that is not aliveness. You know what aliveness mm. is? There is this energy of life that has a flower open, that has the seas shine with the sun like diamonds, that has an elevation, inspiration, right? When you inspire, mm. you breathe in the divine, right? So there is aliveness, is laughter and lightness and enthusiasm, right? Being filled with the breath of the divine. Everybody knows when they're alive or when they're dead. Yes. Right? All right, wow. dead is destructive mechanism. Human beings are designed to be alive. Because when we're alive, our body really works. Yes. All the hormones are great. We don't have stress hormones. You sleep well. You don't overeat. You don't need alcohol or too much, right? You, you, yes. the, our bodies are designed to be well and alive. Wow. Right? Look what happened when we fall in love. Yes. That's so being alive. True. That's yeah. being alive. <laughs> the whole world looks great. <laughs> All right, yes. when, you feel, when you feel dead... The first thing you do is you check with yourself. Mm. Hidden, weight, depressed. You see everything gray. You uh, agitated. You go yeah, 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 snarling. Yep. Yep. Oh, snapping oh, or snarling. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I get like a fury in my destructive mechanism. <laughs> yep. Scary, right? Rage, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Well, you've got to close the door. And, 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 you know, it's tough because you're so right sometimes. You're so right to be outraged. You're so right to be right. But who cares about being right to be right if it costs you your aliveness? Yes. Right? Wow. So the first thing you do is you wow. check with yourself if you feel happy, uh, heavy and dead, deadened. And then you check with people around. If you're clear that you're not running one, see if you're not at the effect of a destructive mechanism. Oh, okay. Like if someone else's mechanism is running in the space and you're getting a little hooked into the... You know, the, if you don't bring awareness, the destructive energy will will um, get awakened in you. Wow. It's very hard. Nonviolence is very, very difficult because one can feel so mm. righteous. You know, they started it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Been there. <laughs> Doesn't work. No, if it costs you your aliveness. So yeah. is that courage or is that intelligence? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I just don't want to be dead. Yeah. I, I remember I was 36 year old. I was in a room with 150 people. Everybody was having fun except me. Because I was running, I was sulking. I was feeling offended by something I can't even remember what. So I was righteous and offended and resentful. And I was alone in my corner. It's like people walk around me. Like, you know, because I'm <laughs> just my energy when my energy is dark, right? They literally went out of their way not to come close to me. And I looked at those 150 people saying, Sophie, they're having fun. 
So you can be right and sound or you can stop. And that's when I got it. I said, you you want to have fun in life? Even in the face of circumstances, you better stop your destructive mechanism. And those are sneaky, right? They're sneaky. You can just get a destructive mechanism about anything. Oh, yes. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Wow. Thank you, Sophie. That's really, that's powerful. So um, just to weave us back, circle back around to the space of possibilities. So um, when you are uh, dealing with so much, as we spoke about at the beginning of the call, right? There's, there's a really a lot going on that just keep continues. Just it's building clearly. How do you hold that space of possibility in like your just daily life? Even if it's not in the face of other people's destructive mechanisms or something, how do you just walk through life? Experiencing that space. The call we had a week or two ago about being in the moment of now that is uh, uh, yes. coming from all the previous moment of now. And we came to faith, right? It's all of that, Abby. Beginner's mind, never understanding, never getting certainty, having faith in the universe, dancing with the moment in front of you. It's all of this training all at once. Wow. All at once. Not resisting anything, being as fluid as water, just constantly dancing with a moment in front of you, not trying to understand, but knowing I have this faith that I cannot explain and I don't even want to explain in the goodness and the love of everything. Mm -hmm. So it's a marvelous, delicious place to live from, right? Yeah. So get yourself to that place. It's not a place you get to. It's a place you are. You just need to give up everything that stands in the way of that space. Everybody has that space, Abby. That's who you really are. Hmm. You need to go back to who you really are. So give up, give up everything that is not you. So beautiful. <laughs> Sounds so simple when you say it that way. <laughs> Just it, it is simple, not easy, but simple. Yeah. Yeah. And it's ongoing, right? Ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. Yeah, That's ongoing. Yeah. yeah, the game of the possibility of possibilities. So, you know, when people invalidate you or say, oh, you just like too immature or too optimistic or too positive or whatever, just say, well, the alternative is what? Right. Ask question. What is the alternative? Hmm. I'd rather live in my world than in the world of despair, chaos, and survival. Yeah, and even as you just shared the story you shared before, living in that world, you can still affect change. You can still affect, you know, a lot happening in your, a lot shifting in your outer world by living from that space. Well, that's in fact, that is necessary. You know, this is why we have so much admiration and respect for Mother Teresa, Gandhi, Martin Luther King. I mean, all the great uh, Socrates, Jesus Christ, right? All the people that made such a difference in the world. Is because if, if you stand in that world that everything is possible, that there is a possibility of possibilities and that is available to everybody, well, what else is there to do than speak about it? Yeah. Right? And people will come like bees to honey. Yes. Did you ever meet someone that doesn't want the possibility of possibilities. I mean, even if they are cynical, you know, people that are the most cynical are the people that once upon a time had this huge possibility and it got squashed. 
So now that you're scared to have faith. Yes. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, no. Once you stand, once you are located in the world of possibilities, there is nothing else to do than making a difference in every single moment of your everyday life. You, um, can I say one more story? Or are we speaking? Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. No, no, we have time. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's true. Okay. I read it on Facebook and I think I posted it. But this guy in Ukraine was in a village that was being bombed and he had no cars and he was with two or three children and his wife and he sees his car with a key on the ignition. He mm -hmm. waits for two hours to see if somebody comes and takes it. After two hours, the bombs are getting too close. He takes his family, steals the car and goes. To safety, once he's in safety, he looks at the car, looks for a paper or something, finds a note with a name and a phone number. He calls and he says to the guy, you the owner of this car? The other guy says, yes. And say, well, then the man says, I stole your car. I just want you to know. I needed to get my family safe. And the other one said, no, 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 you didn't. I have four cars. I took one to get my family to safety. I left the three others with a key on the ignition. Every single one called me to tell me they stole my car, but I left it for you. Oh. Wow. Now, in that story, I don't know if it's true, Abby, okay, but I don't even care. You know what? Yeah. That's what's possible. I will stand there. And to my last breath. The other day I went to have lunch, right? I'm in Spain. I don't speak good Spanish yet. The waiter comes. He wants to speak in English to me. I said, no, no, no. I'm trying to learn Spanish. Will you, will you, teach, will you speak to me in Spanish? And he's busy. It's a waiter. This is coming as a summer season. Right? You should have seen the smile one year to the next. He gave me a half an hour Spanish lesson. <gasps> oh. I, I don't know. I mean, is that a miracle? That's a possibility, it is. right? That's, yes. That is a miracle. Yeah. This kindness. And it was such fun. And we love so hard. Okay. That's what I'm oh. talking about. That's a game worth playing. And you don't have to be Mother Teresa if you want to. Just please don't withhold. But you know what I mean? It's in every moment of your day. See what act of kindness you can randomly make for no reason. I just love that. And I love the story you just told because it's exactly what you meant when you said it's all those things together just being in the present moment having faith you just never know you just really never know what the next moment holds and yeah. those things that you uh, you know like having that spanish lesson in that restaurant that really is a miracle you can really see it through those eyes yeah yeah and I, really life is exquisite that way right i i know there is horrible thing happening in the world but there was a couple of tourists, they were lost, right? They were French, they were lost. So I direct them and I talk to them and I help them and all that, great. They were really happy. Then I go to do my shopping. Oh, I meet them again, half an hour later in front of my apartment. They were just going out of the museum. And I, and they, so we laughed and said, okay, there is no coincidence, right? We meet twice and all that. They're from a little village in the middle of France or whatever. Mm. So I said to them, um, did you ever see an apartment in uh, Minorca? Did you ever go in the inhabitant place? They said, no. I said, would you like to come and see my apartment? I have the most beautiful view. Oh, you should have seen. I, I, I swear to you, Abby, they stayed. 10 minutes, they looked at the view, we chatted and they left. It, I, they, they, I made their trip. I promise you, yes. they're going to talk about that French woman that let them go in her home to, so that they could see the view. They absolutely will. And for me, I walked my talk. 
She's saying, yeah, oh. you know, I would have loved when I visit a foreign place that somebody shows me how the local lives. Yes. Yeah. Because you, you actually I'm a local. Yes, you're a local now. <laughs> amazing you know you actually a one more quick fast story you reminded me of a moment that i had that was a miracle like that my wife and i we well we weren't married at the time but we went to uh milos which is an island off of greece and um we went and we were you know just exploring the main part of the town and we had asked somebody to take a picture of us um, a local woman and she said um oh have you been to polonia which is on the other side of the island and we said, no, we, we want to go, but we haven't gone. And she said, well, I, I've, I'll take you in my car. I'm going right now. And, you know, it was an hour away or something, maybe half an hour. And she took us in the car and it was such a, that's, we talk about that all the time. Just you one see? act of kindness. Yeah. One so act sweet. of kindness. Oh. One act of kindness. So I think how to cope with what is happening in the world. One act of kindness at a time. One act of kindness. Yes. Oh. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. Great. Thank you, I think Sophie. We had a long call. No, thank we you. We did, but it was lovely. And let me just check in and see if we have any friends. <laughs> it was lovely. You always love our call. It was I do. We had a great call, everybody. It was absolutely lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I love the calls. They're always lovely to me. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Okay, so we have Eric. Hi, Eric. And we have Maria um, just sending sweet messages. Thank you, Eric and Maria, for being here. And everyone else, I see there are others here, too. Thank you for being here with us. All right. And everybody, let me remind you of that seminar starting on the... Yes, the 30th of May. It's going to be a good one. <laughs> but don't listen to me because I, I'm biased. Yeah. But it's going to be a delightful seminar, very much like this conversation, actually, right? Yeah. Yes. About yes. just being in love. What do you what do you need to look at to be able to be in love with yourself and live this kind of life where you you're okay with yourself? You know, you stop blaming yourself, making yourself wrong. You just like <laughs> more than okay with yourself you have yes. chosen the kind of human being you're going you want to be for the rest of your life so uh abby would you put the link i'll put the link below and as always it's choose your own price we have three price options you can choose whichever and you get the whole seminar and yeah it's fun it's interactive we talk it's four sessions yeah all right everybody all right, everyone listening abby i love you I love you, Sophie. <laughs> Bye. <darling. laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, Sophie.